Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play RuneScape. Now, a few weeks ago, um, basically one month ago, uh, this post was made, The War Against Bots Continues, and Jagex announced that they had recently banned no less than 20,000 gold farming bots, all members, which is quite large. Um, and so at that time, I was like, okay, well, we've heard this story before. Let's go around and take a look. And what we found was some bots, right? Not necessarily a huge problem, um, but we found some bots. And, uh, and so we could see very clearly there was work to be done, but it was an improvement based on what we had observed before. So I thought a month out, it really has been a month. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. And... Uh, and we'll see if those are still uh, around, see what the status is, right? So uh, let's see here. I've got, I think, all the items that I need. The very first place that we looked last time was um, the goblins by Port Serem. And I mentioned last time that the reason why this spot is important is because bots that do combat-related gold farming are typically trained in that area, um, as far as I can see. You know, th there's probably other places. I'm... You know, I might not be so surprised to see places where the bots are even worse, but this is a common one. Uh, although this would not be too hard to tr uh, to change either. So if there are not bots here, um, I would say it doesn't really say too much. And so far, it's totally empty. So um, this, I mean, this is hard to interpret, right? Let's go check out the Grotworm, see how that's doing. That was the next place I went to visit. Oh, I'm going too far the other way. I always do that. I always do that. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing very well. <laughs> We're going to have some funny updates soon, I think. Um, the behind the scenes for next month will be out in just a couple of days. And um, I mean, the fact that Jagex has not announced, you know, um, kind of ahead of time what's coming. I mean, sometimes that could mean that they're not as excited about the coming updates, but in this case, I really think that we're going to get something quite cool that uh, is a little bit unexpected. So let's see here. That guy just died, and I don't know if that's a bot. I can't tell. He's got cheap armor on, but that's actually really good armor. Oh, I'm getting frame lag. Hang on just a second. Let's close a few things. Um, right, so, Royal Armor is awesome right now. Oh, that looks like a bot. Yeah, okay. So we've got a bot. <laughs> Where is he going? Where are you going? Oh, there's another one. So, um, I would say a couple of signs of obvious botting. Low levels. I mean, you know, they'll either toggle their... Yeah, I mean, his total skill level is basically screaming, I'm a bot. And let's check the back part. Uh, last time we went all the way down here. Take a quick look. Hmm. You know, I would not be so surprised to see them use Polypore with cheap mage armor. Oh, but he would probably collect his stuff before attacking another guy. Yeah, this guy's probably not a bot, if I had to guess. He's got the OB cape on. That's usually a bad sign. Those are very um, economic capes. You know, one thing about the bots that's absolutely true is that they're very good at um, finding really efficient ways of doing certain things. Um, certain types of efficiency only become very obvious when you do it en masse, right? When you've got literally, um, you know, hundreds and thousands of examples. And so the very quickest route to go from one place to another, the bots usually know what that is. Um, the very, you know, best kind of trade-off between cost and armor, the bots usually figure that out. But do we need bots for that? No, absolutely not. Just get them out of my game. So from here, we went to Edgeville. Let's go check that out. Whoa. Uh, oh, right. These guys are funny. Um, I, maybe someone can tell me about this. But um, there's this bot that does this. They use the bats. They 
make fruits. And obviously there must be some type of fruit that's uh, very profitable because um, that's what these guys are doing. They're producing the fruit, they're banking it, and profiting from that. And, and these guys are gold farmers too, um, if I had to guess. Or they're player accounts that are also scumbags that are trying to gain an advantage. But um, those are bots. Very cool. But a lot, I mean, cool because it's interesting. But the last time we came here, I said, you know, there's a lot of people um, that are probably doing smithing, real players doing smithing here, um, using bots. Uh, we're pretty low on numbers, but we're at an off hour. So not sure what to think about that. And even last time, um, that's a tougher one to figure out because their interaction with the game is, is simple, but it would be simple if they weren't using bots. Okay, so we're off into the wilderness. Uh, we'll see. Oh, there's one. I can't even report him. Get out of here. Okay, we don't need chat. So, um, there's at least one bot here. Oh, and that weird thing where it's like not multi-way combat is still happening here. Um, I mentioned this last time, actually. When you attack a skeleton or whatever, you have to wait until your combat turns off before you can attack the next one. It's really annoying. It basically makes training um, at the Armored Zombies, which was previously a very good place to train, it makes that almost impossible. So yeah, we saw one bot, that guy that ran by. Uh, let's go check out the Green Dragons. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm over on the um, west side of the wilderness. Typically, this has a capacity of three bots. After that, there's no point. Um, I, it's very unlikely that gold farmers would ever have such a high demand for gold that they would need to cram on more bots. But we can see these, you know, these are all gold farming bots. Um, so at least here, they're certainly back. And as we'll see, they're, they're, they're back other places too. Um, so let's kill some of these guys. <laughs> I don't really have much, so I probably shouldn't, um, get too involved with this, but this guy I'm going to kill for sure. See ya. Alright. So I'm going to take care of these guys, and then I'll meet you guys under the wilderness. Be right back. Alright, well, underneath the wilderness is empty, which is strange. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by this. Previously, this was an area that was very popular, and it was that way for a long time, but there's no bots here. It's hard to explain exactly why. Um, maybe the script that's required to run a bot in this area is more complicated. Maybe there's additional risks because of the location. Not sure, but there's no bots there. Let's check the other side of the wilderness. Okay, here we are. You know, on my way over here, I was thinking I'll probably call this one month after the bot nuke, but um, obviously the war against bots is kind of an ongoing effort at this point. Uh, although it looks to be... Um, <laughs> there seems to be an extreme ceasefire going on here. Uh, there's three, four, five, six, seven bots. Ma -ha -ha. Um, <laughs> up here, look at them all. That's freaking disgusting. Okay, I'm going to try and kill these guys, um, but I don't really have the stuff to do that right now, so it might end poorly. We'll see. So far, so good. Okay, I think that's all of them. Ooh, room dagger. Fancy. Gotta love getting the big drops. <laughs> Let's just see. Yep, cleared them all out. Ha! How's that for a ceasefire? Alright, so we have to go to... Uh, oh, Whiteberry bots. Uh, yeah, let's go check quickly. Okay, and once again, there's no Whiteberry bots on this world, at least. Um, this is a good sign, and the reason I like to come here is because it's not very profitable, so if there's bots even here, then they're really making as much money as they possibly can. No bots here, good sign. And here we are at the Blue Dragons. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look that good. I mean, you guys remember, last time I was here, 
The bots have been decimated. There was just one. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. There's four. I mean, that guy is probably a bot too. You can see they've changed some things, right? They've got different armor. This guy's wearing mage armor. This guy's wearing typical bot armor. This guy has a skill cape, right? Um, but they're all bots. I mean, no legitimate player would be happy to all fight the same freaking dragon at once, right? You would just mix it up. You'd fight other dragons. You'd find another place to fight. These are all bots. And so I will report them. Uh, some people have pointed out very correctly that I have just been looking at basically places where um, members, right? Uh, members bots. Uh, you know, I, I could easily look at, at free-to-play bots and I would not be surprised to see um, a lot of them, especially in the mines and stuff like that. Um, I would, you know, right now, oh, there's no bots here. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, maybe they haven't developed... I don't know. They're going to focus on areas that are going to get them the best return at first. Uh, from here we went to Sears Village. Okay, let's go there and then I'll continue. Okay, we're over in Sears Village. Looks like someone is using the uh, old style of uh, fire-making bot. Holy crap, that's causing a lot of lag. Yeah. Okay, and let's see if there's some back here. Uh, I don't know. I mean, again, it's kind of like hard to say. On three hit a. That's probably not a bot. Maybe doing a task or something. But right, so um, free to play bots, it's a huge problem there, right? Right now, um, if you are a free to play person and you've been having trouble making money, that could be a bot too. Um, a U tree bot. If you're having trouble making money, check out gold mining right now. Uh, gold has spiked in price recently. Uh, it's worth way more than it has been. It's worth, you know, what it used to be before botting. Oh, look at this. The bots are all gone here. Well, that's a really good sign. Um, I mean, it shows that Jagex is probably still developing uh, kind of like algorithms that identify bots in different areas. And they seem to be gone here. That's good. Yeah, so whenever the bots get banned, um, the prices of the items that were being bought at tend to go up. We saw that recently with, um, you know, dragon leather, right? Green dragon hide. Um, the prices on that went just through the roof. And that guy's probably not a bot either. So that's good. Uh, they got rid of some stuff here. It's a bit of a moving target, right? Uh, the, those scummy uh, gold farmers, they're going to find ways to get around things. Oh yeah, see, here's a couple. And they're going to test things out all the time, too. So, I think this is where we left off last time, and I'm pretty much all out of time for today. Um, last remarks. So it's ongoing. We know that. It's just, you know, these good... They're scumbags, right? As long as they can find people who think it's okay to buy gold um, from them, um, then they're going to continue to make an effort to try and provide that service, quote unquote, right? Um, look, if you want to buy gold, right, I don't recommend it. Um, you know, it, it cheapens the, the element of the community, in my opinion. Um, but... You can buy um, spins on the Squeal of Fortune and just do it that way because then the money that you spend, right, that you care about for, for this game, um, it's going to go to the people that are making content. So I guess that's my last remark for t today. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you later.